Tonight we're remembering folk rock legend Gordon Lightfoot. He passed away yesterday at the age of 84. While he was born in Canada, he will forever be tied to the North Shore. Gordon Severson is here with just how much impact one song can have. Gordy? Yeah, many of Lightfoot's albums have gone gold and platinum, but one of his most popular songs was an unexpected hit, a six-minute ballad about a shipwreck on Lake Superior that is still inspiring tourists to this day. The legend lives on from the Chippewa on down the big lake they call Gitchagumi. An iconic song with a tragic story. They called it the Queen of the Great Lakes because it, it hauled the iron ore across the Great Lakes so quickly. Corey Adkins with the Great Lakes Shipwreck Historical Society says Gordon Lightfoot wrote the wreck of the Edmund Fitzgerald after reading about it in the newspaper. The ship was built in the 1950s to carry iron ore across the Great Lakes, but on November 10, 1975, a bad storm came and the ship went down, killing all 29 crew members. There's a lot of different theories, a lot of theories, because nobody saw it. There were no survivors. In 1995, Adkins says divers went down to retrieve the bell of the Edmund Fitzgerald. It's now on display in their museum in Michigan. It helps us get the other stories of those other wrecks out there because there's hundreds and hundreds and thousands of them on the Great Lakes. The song also inspired an annual tradition at the Split Rock Lighthouse in Two Harbors. Every year on November 10th, the lights come on and they read the names of the 29 crew members who died in the wreck. A lot of them were from the Duluth and North Shore area. The lighthouse's caretaker, Hayes Scriven, says the tradition started in the 80s after the previous caretaker heard Lightfoot's song on the radio. The song has since become an anthem for the North Shore, bringing in thousands of tourists every year. Yeah, I, I would say between 30 and 40 percent of our visitors come here because they've heard the song. Gordon was known as a as a, a storyteller in his songs and that song kind of epitomizes it really. Now that caretaker says he hears this song pretty much every day during the summer with tourists playing it on their phones as they walk around the lighthouse. So as the song says, the legend lives on. All right. Thank you, Gordon.